All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, make sure you become one of the players in the palace. Subscribe to my channel so that way you can get up to date on to the content that we have here. Make sure you have your post notifications on so that way you see whenever I post a new video. And let's get right on into it. Um, it's not Detroit news. It's not sports news. It's not gaming news. It's COVID news, man. Um. I don't have a problem with people who say they don't want to get vaccinated if it's for reasonable reasons. Um, I don't have a problem with people not necessarily liking to wear their masks because I don't like wearing masks. You know what I'm saying? It's very uncomfortable. And when I'm in the sun, oh man, bro, I, I be feeling like I'm about to die with my mask on. But best believe, I wear my mask when I need to wear my mask because it is important for the health and safety of other people. Wearing a mask has nothing to do with you. You wearing a mask makes sure that you are protecting other people. It's literally what it is. If I am not wearing a mask and somebody else is wearing a mask, I'm endangering them. Because if I have it, I could still pass it to them possibly. But if it's the other way around, I don't have a mask and they do, and they have COVID, then they are preventing spreading COVID to me because of the mask barrier. <laughs> but if both people wear masks, oh, oh my God. Hey, you got, you got something there. Hey, everybody's safe if everybody's wearing masks. <laughs> Oh man, um, it's very interesting to see how these things are developing. I am giving prayers for anybody's family who is going through tough times with COVID, anybody who is affected by it, because it's very tough to see. Um, it's very tough. I want to personally say that the United States have gone about this all wrong. I really hate me being um me being someone in the medical field, I really hate how scientists and medical professionals are losing credibility so fast. Because the government officials are literally taking what the experts say and they're just throwing it in the trash. The experts are giving all of the information on what needs to be done. And the government officials are just like, yeah, well, we're not making enough money and more people are going to lose their jobs. And if more people lose their jobs, then that means more federal dependence and more and less people making us money. So we're going to keep things open. Bro, so stupid. It, it, it really is so stupid. I, we clearly need to shut down. We should have shut down in January when Biden got in office, but for some odd reason, he said he was going to shut down. Biden never shut down. And it's and it's a Democratic-led house, I believe. So it's like, I don't understand why we didn't shut down in January. If we would have shut down in January, we wouldn't be at this moment we are at today. The numbers are insane. COVID cases are spiking at an at an all-time high, higher than it was this time last year. I just I'm just not understanding what is going on. I'm hearing about my little brother telling me kids that he knows has COVID still going to school. You know. I'm hearing about school the school boards don't care about COVID for real. They're not they're not shutting nothing down. They're not going online. They're keeping kids in the classrooms. We've we've got floor we've got Florida governors who is threatening to keep teachers from being paid if we mandate masks. I'm just wondering what is going on here, man, because it, I really don't understand how things are just working out right as of right now. It's insane. It's unbelievable. 
people's health is in danger. We see these other countries living their best lives while we're still dealing with the pandemic. It's turning into an epidemic. <laughs> Because other countries are like, oh, we, we we fixed the problem. Oh, we're good. We're good over here. How about you, America? Oh, still not doing good over there? Oh, that's too bad. You're stupid anyways. Like, ICUs are flooded. People are dying from cases other than COVID because they can't get a bed in the ICU because of COVID patients. Like, here's an analogy. You've got 10 people infected. You need to shut down. You shut down and you cure seven of those people. You cure it. I mean, you know, you contain it. We've contained the spread. We've, we've cured seven people. Let's open back up. We open back up, but there's still three people infected. So now that you have opened back up with three people still infected, they go infect five more people. So now you have eight people infected. And then it turns into, let's say, 20 people infected. Now you've got 20 people infected. Oh, God. Oh, God. The numbers are going crazy. Oh, God. It's 20 people. We need to shut down again. And these are just numbers. These are very basic numbers for people to understand. 20 people are infected. Oh, my God. We, we need to shut down again. You shut down again. Ah, we're not making enough money. Money's looking look, looking crazy. Let's open back up. You've cured 19 people and there's still one person infected. Now that one infected person goes out and infects 50 more people. And now you're behind square one. Whereas if at the initial 10 people you had that was infected, if you shut down and cure all 10 people, there would be nobody else. <laughs> there wouldn't be a problem. If we had a long enough shutdown, we would not have to deal with all of this that we're dealing with right now. We really wouldn't. But the reason why I'm not necessarily mad at people, I'm mad at government officials. Regular people I'm not mad at because... One, you're allowed to think whatever you want to think. You can, yeah, you can, you can be the smartest person in the room. You can be the dumbest person in the room. You're allowed to think what you think. You know, that's your mind. You can do with your mind whatever you want. But my thing is, it is a culmination of different circumstances that have led to the exact reason why America can't function. <laughs> we can't function at all. It's just two, like, different rules here and there, different circumstances from different groups of people. All comes together, just forms what we have right now. Half-ass shutdowns. People claiming to be doctors of medicine, going in front of school boards, telling everybody that if, if you got a vaccine, you're going to die, and other inflammatory statements. People who are... People who have PhDs in education are trying to say they belong in the field of medicine and have written about medicine when it was education they wrote on. Saying that they belong to Oxford when it is Oxford, Ohio. <laughs> and trying to, trying to talk about information that you don't really know about. You're not an expert. You know, and then all these people are going out and believing it. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, I don't blame people that believed him. But my thing is, do your damn research before you listen to people. Do your research. Please, do your research before you listen to people. Because it is very unfortunate to see people be duped and fooled like this. You are believing everything you see on Twitter. You believe what you're seeing on Instagram. Like, oh my God, it's true. Honey, look, you're believing on WhatsApp. I don't know what WhatsApp is, but I keep hearing about it and it's getting annoying. Let the experts do what the experts do. Government officials need to listen to the experts because that's what you're paying them for. That's what they're paid for, to be an expert in this field of study. 
how how uh, <sighs> I, I'm just not understanding it. I really am not. It's very annoying. It really is. I just want to put in this perspective before I end the video. So number one in the world. So there are over two hundred. There's almost two hundred thousand. I mean, whoa. There's almost two hundred million COVID cases. 39, well, almost 40 million are from the United States of America. The next highest is India at third, almost 33 million. Think about it. Think about that. I want you to think about that. Oh, and hold on. I want you to look at new cases. Not new cases. No, I don't want you to look at new cases. I want you to think about that. Third... 40 million versus 33 million. America has 330 million people. India has 1.3 billion. So you mean to tell me in a country with 1.3 billion people, you only have 33 million COVID cases compared to America with 330 million with 40 million COVID cases. That is a very insane number. Literally, there's just about a billion more people in India, and yet we have 7 million more COVID cases. Like, I'm not understanding what y'all, I'm not understanding. I am, I am confusion. This is ridiculous. It really is stupid. <sighs> now, granted, you know, infrastructure in India is, is it's not it's not all it's not all that. So there could be plenty of missed numbers in India. You know, there could be plenty of missed cases. But at the same time, there's a lot of missed cases in the United States of America. It's literally been proven that the COVID cases are being severely undercounted in the United States of America. So think about it. If we have 40 million cases and we're still severely undercounted, I mean, it makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, how this is operating we look foolish we're one of the most developed nations in the world and yet we are behind on almost everything like come on man as of yesterday in the state of georgia there is 22,000 new cases as of yesterday within 24 hours 22,000 and some change have tested positive for COVID. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? Like, you have, people are extremely selfish. And, and I get it, you know what I'm saying? You worry about yourself, you know? You worry, I understand that, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what, I'm what I truly don't understand is how people just sit here and do this how do people just sit here and be okay with getting others sick how do you sit here and be okay with just letting things be in a pandemic how does government officials feel like it's okay to not listen to the experts and there's a lot of things that need to be talked about it's so serious it is very detrimental to society and to people's health i'm not understanding it i'm confusion <laughs> Personally, I just feel like, honest to God, we need a shutdown. We need a shutdown, and it needs to be good enough to where <laughs> we cure all 10 people. I just dropped my phone. We have to cure. Everybody has to be cured. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, get the COVID out of everybody's bodies so that way we're still not passing it and spreading it when we get out of another shutdown and then we have to go into another shutdown that's why people that's why people were saying we wouldn't be out of covid until the end of 2022 2023 because america just ain't listening they're not coming up with a consensus 
They're not coming up with a concise plan to deal with this. It's sporadic. It's all over the place. And that's what we're seeing today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Education, the education system is out of whack. Hospital systems are out of whack. I pray, I pray for all these new kids coming up in COVID era. I really pray for all the new kids that had to miss school, that had to go through online school. I'm praying for y'all. But, you know, I just want to end that video with that. Um, it's tough times we're living in, but we have to we have to really be together. We have to come together as a unit. We have to come together as a country to make sure we keep each other safe because that is what's important. We're not just, we're not here by ourselves. I'm not in America by myself. I'm here with all of you. You are my people. We are all Americans here together living under this great flag. So people need to start acting like it. <laughs> Um, let me know what y'all feeling in the comment section about everything that's going on. Do you feel like there's going to be a shutdown? Do you feel like everything's just going to stay the same? Let me know what you're thinking on any of this. And I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace out.